All right, it's time to do some materials now for uh, this spy challenge. And uh, I'm going to start on the lighter camera. What I've got right now is just a base material, as you can see over here on everything. It's the base material. I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to put separate materials on this. And um, I'm going to be using um, Substance Painter and Blender and another add-on as well that I'm going to talk to you about to do the glass. Uh, and I'll do that in Blender and I'll show you that. But in order to use Substance Painter, I really need to have this UV unwrapped. And that, of course, is a, a big topic right there. Um, I've done that, and I'm not going to show that uh, here. I could do that another time. Um, if you were just going to texture this uh, in Blender, uh, you could, you know, get away without UV unwrapping this and just adding, you know, sort of a metal texture with some noise or a, a brushed chrome kind of look. That's not really what I want to do. Um, and so I do have this UV unwrapped and I'm going to uh, start working in Substance Painter. It's going to be very simple, mind you. All right. And uh, what I uh, intend to do is have a front view. And then once I have materials, I'm going to duplicate this and slide it over and turn it around so you see the back. And I'm going to render it just sort of orthographic straight on like that. And that's the kind of view that I want. I don't want it sitting on a table on some weird perspective view so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this up to have the different materials that I want so for example I'm going to select here and I'm going to add a material some new material and I'm going to call this main body all right I'm not going to do anything else I just want the name there and I want that material assigned so this is also going to have the main body material and everything that I want in main body, I'm going to come in here and start selecting. Okay, so I'll say it's like that. I'm going to click this last and I'm going to go Control L materials. So all these will have main body. And I can get rid of the base material on these, it doesn't really matter. But I'll just go ahead and do that anyhow. So they just have the main body material. Main body. Okay, so I got this one. This one is going to be main have main body on it. Okay, so we got that. Now these pieces are going to be in black. So let's just maybe uh, get rid of that. And let's go ahead and call this black so that I remember. So I'm going to want that in black. This piece here, I'm going to want in black. This little dot. That's the mode button at the back that you would switch. So you view on the LCD screen, that's going to be in black. Down at the bottom here, this piece will be black. I put in a piece right here, and I've got a little bit of thickness to this, and this is going to be glass. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to call this glass. So that's going to be glass. And the lens itself right here. Now I've separated these out a little bit from when I modeled this originally. I've got this piece, I've got that piece, and I've got that. And that's gonna have glass on it. Well, I think I've got everybody that I need. Okay, so main body, all the hinge, this part, these, this thing. Uh, I actually, I think I want this as a separate uh, material, so I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to call this, um, let's call this, did I do this already? Lens body. Main body, lens body, black, 
and glass. There we go. And that should be everything. So, the model is UV unwrapped and I have assigned specific materials to this just by name. I can use those in Substance Painter. So, I'm going to select my entire model, everything, and export this as an FBX. I'm going to call this lighter camera materials. I'll just do selected. There's nothing else in my scene anyhow, but it's good practice. Export FBX and save. I'm going to open this up now in Substance Painter. I'm going to click new. I'll start at 1024 as my document resolution. I'll leave everything else the same. Select. I'll go to my export folder, lighter camera materials.fbx, and I will open. I'll choose OK. And you can see over here the materials that I created black, glass, lens body, main body. I've still got ma base material there. I'm going to click the eye to hide it. Nothing is using that base material. And here is my model. Before I can go ahead and add materials to this in Substance Painter, I need to come over to the texture settings, scroll down, and choose Bake Mesh Maps. And that will create the uh, ambient occlusion map and all that stuff. So I'm going to click that. I'm actually going to go to 2048, I think, now that I think about it, right from the start. I'm going to press Bake, select the textures and it will go through and it will create all those maps uh, that you see here uh, that I need, some of which I don't need, but I'm just gonna let it create all of them. Take a couple minutes or 30 seconds or whatever, and we'll let that run and then we'll be ready to go. Um, this part is important. Uh, first of all, you have to do this in order to, to put on your materials, but it's important to see whether or not your UVs are right. If you start seeing some weird shadowing, you could have overlapping uh, UVs. That is now done. The model hasn't really changed. It doesn't look like it's changed very much. But now's the time to, to look at it and make sure that everything looks okay on this. Of course, I can move uh, the light by holding down Shift and uh, right mouse button. And I can do that if I need to. Okay, so I'm good. I'm going to come back to my texture set list. Base material is off. I'm going to start working on main, the main body here. And just like Photoshop, I'm going to be using layers. I'm going to delete this layer, the default layer that's put in. And I'm going to put on the material that I like. Let's try smart materials. Plastic. And I'm looking for one called plastic armor. Let's try this one. I think I'll go for that. Might mess with those colors later. Okay, see I've got a little bit of wear on here. Not too much, what a kind of a clean look. Okay, let's say I go for that for my main body. Let's work on the black now. So I click on the layer, I'll delete the that one there. And now I want something that's black. Let's try that, drag that in. A little bit of imperfection there. Maybe I'll come in here and make it a little bit less shiny. Yeah, that might be what I'm looking for. And then I'll put it on pretty much everything that I want black on, which is that stuff. The glass, by the way, I can hide. I'll be doing that in Blender, so just so that it's not showing up there. And then I was thinking for this, I might make that sort of a silver kind of a ring. So I'll come up to this is the lens body, delete that. 
And for this, I'm going to choose metal. Let's try aluminum. Let's see what that looks like. Now that's under smart material. I might just go for materials. Metal. Let's just try that aluminum again. That's kind of what I'm going for right there. I'm going to press the tab key to see it full screen. And I'm going to come over here and let's try um, anti-aliasing. Just to get a look at this. Okay, so I get a little bit of, uh, of wear on this, but it's mostly clean. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm not sure that I want this main body color, but we could go with that for now. Okay, let's save that. Okay, and now I'm going to export those textures. Export textures and choose where I want to save them. I don't need to export the base material again. I don't need to export the glass again. It's the black, the lens body, the main body. I'm gonna click export. And that's done. Okay, now we come back to Blender. Make sure I save. I'm gonna go into the shading tab. And I should mention to you that I do have some lights set up already. here okay so it's time to put on those materials from substance painter so I'm gonna select my body here and this is I've got the principal BSDF down here because I created this material and um, with the node wrangler enabled in blender I can just press uh, shift control T and that will open up this so I can search for my uh, textures and I want on the main body, I want lens, lighter camera materials, main body, base color, all the way down to roughness. And that will load it for me automatically, as you can see here. And that's put it on everything that's got the main body material. I'll come over here. This is the lens body. And I choose lens body. That may be a little shiny for what I want, but let's come over here and this is black. Shift control T. Let's choose black black. Want that black, that's black, that's black. Okay, so those are my main materials. Come over to here. Um I'm gonna go with that for now. Just leave it. Make sure I'm saving along the way. Okay, now we're gonna do the glass stuff here okay um, I think what I'll do for this for glass is first of all I want to change the color and I want it to be sort of a, a greenish color I'll start with that and I think I will come down to the transmission and bring it up I'll bring it all the way up and I'll bring the roughness here down a little bit but I'm going to be using another add-on. So I've got that. I think I'll come back into layout and I'll look here. And I'll just look like so that we can see that. Okay. So this is what I've got so far. I want to put a little bit of imperfection on this. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to this. With my glass material selected, I'm going to scroll down. And I've got an add-on. It's a paid add-on. I think it was around $25 or $30. Called Smudger Pro. And uh, when you 
download that and install it and enable it, it shows up right over here. So Smudger Pro. I've got the glass selected and, I, and it says it has a little S in here, so Smudger Pro is active. Okay, I'm going to come down here and say add the smudger setup. Click this and it'll set things up for me so that I can now come down and add stuff like scratches. So I'm going to click the select scratches, I'm going to click add scratches. And let's just focus on this piece right here. And you can see that it has added a lot of scratches. And I can choose different ones. So I chose that one. And I can adjust how deep they are. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. There's a whole lot of customization, but I just want a little bit of imperfection in there. You're going to see it very well. All right. So that scratches. You can add dust, smudges. Let's try smudge. Seeing as it is called smudger, add smudges. That. Okay, let's come down here. Once again, you can add, choose different ones. just want a little bit of, of sort of uh, imperfection in in this glass okay so I'm going to press the slash key to come back out I'm going to look at this again and decide what do I want that's what I want okay now this LCD panel back here, I think I still have base material on this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna want glass. That's what I'm gonna do for that. Not certain about these smudges. Very nice. And the last thing that I would probably want to do is I have a look from the very back is add a little bit of text on here. So I'm going to go Shift A, text, doing this right in Blender. Uh, here it is. Let's rotate X90. Let's see where we're at. Okay, rotate Z180. And let's go ahead in and call this uh, Viewfinder. Let's try that first of all. I think I'm going to probably want this maybe in all caps. Let's move it out. And this text is going to have a new material on it. And I'm going to make this... Um, let's try that. No, maybe we'll do just... Let's just do sort of a whitish color for now. I'm going to change the font on this. And I'm just going to choose a font that I've got. Okay, and I'm going to bring it in close to the main body. And we'll just use shrink wrap to attach it. So with the text selected, shrink wrap, eye dropper, choose the main body. And choose as an offset, so like 0 0.001. Make sure it's just a little bit off the body. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this and change this so that it says mode. Duplicate it again. LCD. Just sort of like that, I think. Okay, that's fine. Now, this text, I'm going to put in this collection here. 
So I got the entire camera right there. Make sure we're saving. Mm, just not sure about that. Okay. So let's say that's what I was going for. All right. Just look from the front. And I'm going to uh, select that. Shift D. I'm going to move it over. Before I deselect, I'm going to press M, New Collection. I'm going to call this Camera 2. So I can easily select the whole thing. Rotate Z 180. And bring it in. So I've got the two of them there. Front and back view. I've got some lights in here. I can look through a camera. And this is now I've set up my lights before. I'm just show you very simply. I've got two lights at the front. Uh, if we come over here, I've got them white right now 600 watts, 600 watts, and one at the back, slightly different color 400 watts to give a bit of a, a glow around the outer edges from the back. And I've just got a camera right at the front. Okay, so I'll look through the camera. And um, I've just got a, a dark gray sort of background. I'm going to press uh, F12. Well, I should say, first of all, that I'm in Cycles using GPU Compute. I'm rendering at about 250 samples. I've got some uh, denoising on it, and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to press F12. Okay, the render is done, and what do we see? Well, it generally looks good, except for the glass. And so that's something that I would have to go back and play with. And I think I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you uh, in a little bit. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've made a small adjustment to the glass so that it sort of fits better into that area of the viewfinder and changed, changed it a little bit and changed the color of this a bit. And that would be my final render or maybe I'll render it larger with higher samples and just the lighting a little bit, but that's the basic idea. So now I'll go ahead and I'll use this same kind of technique to uh, texture those uh, that the headset I'll probably use very similar colors and then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the USB cufflinks but we'll see so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time